You read that right. Alphaly Amplify Spring Colors are upon us. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are talking about the brand new Alpha Lee Amplify that's dropping this April 8th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now you guys have probably already seen these colors on Instagram, the Alpha Lee discussion on Facebook. In today's video, we'll be going over every single piece you can expect to be launching. We'll also be going over every single Amplify color you can expect to see as well. I do have every single one here today in the shorts and the leggings. But before we spring into this video, definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We talk active around this channel every single week, all the brands that we know and love. And if you find this video helpful, please do consider using my code GATA at checkout. This helps support the channel and it does save you 10% on your order. And not just on launch day, this is whenever you shop Alpha Lee. Over here you can find my measurements. I'll also have them in the description box below. Just keep in mind everything you see in today's video is in my true size small. Alongside the new Amplify colors, you can also expect to see a brand new collection dropping this time around. Introducing the King Collection. So the pieces in this collection that are dropping are the King Jogger, that's unisex, King Quarter Zip in unisex, which I'm wearing right now, Women's King Crop Hoodie, and Men's King Hoodie. These are coming in vanilla, linen, sage, evergreen, and black. So you remember the linen color from like two launches ago? It'll pair, actually I'm wearing linen bralette right now, how about it? So even though the outside is a full Sherpa, it's very textured, that fleece wear, the inside is not, thank goodness, because I'm actually not in the mood to wear this kind of material on the inside as well. The inside is more of a cotton, so keep that in mind. It is very warm, it's not very breathable. I'm actually breaking a sweat right now. So I actually have the unisex jogger in size small, as well as the unisex quarter zip in a size small. Grabbed them in the sage colors. Now, what I have to say is this is more of a relaxed fit collection, not oversized. Even though my true size small fit okay, when squatting, I noticed it dipping in the back. I felt like there was very limited stretch in these pieces. With that being said, Bay actually grabbed the king hoodie and joggers in a size large in black. I wore those and I liked them better. Now I was wearing these lounging, so they looked drastically oversized, just how I like it. But if you're going out, then you can definitely stick to your true size. What happened? What'd you do? I don't know what happened. <laughs> At best, maybe up one size if you really prefer an oversized fit. I am surprised that they're launching this type of material now during springtime, but if you wanted to mix and match within the Amplify colors, you could totally do that. So if you wanna grab a jogger with just a bra, wear it as a cover up to the gym. I know a lot of gals wear just loose sweats over top of their Amplify shorts. It's a great way to just enter the gym and then take it off when you're working out. I definitely don't suggest actually working out in these pieces. There's no breathability and you could see from this footage, I mean, when I squat, it's practically falling off my body. So lounge wear or wearing to the gym to take off at best. Wanna know something crazy? When I took this Sage Quarter Zip and Joggers out of the package, I got blasted with the smell of like crayons. It was like a brand new box of crayons or when your friend would share colored pencils and you would open up that little plastic, little bubbly, little, little bubble lid looking plastic thing. That's what this smell reminded me of. So out of all the tops, I thought the quarter zip was the most appealing to me. I don't know what it was. I just felt like that quarter zip with this type of texture, it just worked. I think it's the logo actually that really caught my eye. If you notice, this logo's only on this particular piece. I like it spread out right across the chest. Overall, I think it was a cute fit. The thing about the quarter zip I noticed, it does have pockets, but they're so off to the side that it's kind of like, whoa, it's like all the way right at my hips, like right here, <laughs> not in front. Now what we're all here for, let's chat about the new Amplify. We have Amplify shorts in not only the 4.5 inch inseam, but the 6.5 five inch inseam as well. I know a lot of you guys are loving that longer length. So am I. We also have Amplify leggings dropping, obviously, in all the same colors. The Revival bra, the Stratus long sleeve crop, and the Stratus crop tank. And some seamless thongs as well. The colors are dropping in Mystic Blue, Jade, Magenta, Sapphire, and Sangria. starting with Mystic Blue. This is the lightest blue with a tinge 
of purple in it. Almost like a slight little baby lilac. Baby blue and lilac, just together. Jade, this might just be my favorite of the bunch. I love a very pretty green. I feel like when it comes to spring colors, a light green just has to make it into the bunch. So these two colors are definitely the more muted pastel colors. If you're looking for richer tones, let me introduce to you magenta. This is a mixture between a hot pink with just a little bit of purple in it. Definitely louder compared to the other two. Sapphire. Now I'm about to say something and you will not be able to unsee it. Are you ready? This is Sonic Blue. This is Sonic the Hedgehog Blue, okay, to be more specific. And lastly, we're looking at Sangria. So I got some questions about this particular brown shade. Now, this is the richest, darkest tone of them all. We have a dark brown. It's definitely a warm tone. You have a ton of red. If you look closely, especially in brighter lights, you can see that warmth shine through. So there's a lot of rich reds and gold tones beneath. Now I have to say, this is like the outlier color of the group. I feel like everything else is very spring-esque. This is the one color where I looked at it and I was like, wow, like this is totally full. You know how some Amplify colors have marl breakup? When looking at this particular palette, they're mostly solids. Like you're not really seeing any crazy heavy marl in any of these colors. But if I were to pick out the one color that has the most noticeable marl, which still isn't much, but it's, you know, technically there. It would be the Sonic the Hedgehog Blue. I already forgot the actual name of this because it's Sonic to me. What is it? Sapphire. Sapphire. So the Sonic Sapphire has the most marl out of all of them. Now, do you guys like the marl? Or are you more of a solid amplifier girl? My personal favorite color. I'm gonna narrow it down to two. I'm gonna go with the magenta and the jade. The brown is nice, don't get it twisted, but it's not October, okay? I do like the Sonic the Hedgehog color. You're welcome. Now you won't unsee it, but you know I'm not much of a blue girl, right? <laughs> And this one, don't even get me started on this one. It's a very powdery color and I can appreciate that for what it is, but it's just a bit too light for me. Now, if you like this kind of lightness, go for it. I mean, I do think it makes for a really cute bra or a long sleeve, but around my glutes, <laughs> It's sheer when you stand, you can see the tag through it. I feel like I could just do without this light of a color. Like it's not necessary for me. The average with these colors is around 80, 85% squat proof. On me, with the most squat proof being the blue, the pink, and the green. In terms of the actual material, I don't believe anything's changed. I don't feel any difference from the previous Amplify launch. Other than the new colors, nothing has changed in terms of the band, the material, the fit, the feel nothing. That's good. You at least know what to expect. I think the only big take home is the compression differences in the waistbands. So in terms of the waistband compression on the shorts, I felt like the pink, so this magenta and this mystic blue had the least amount of compression in the waistband. The sangria and the sapphire had moderate compression. So a little bit more than these two, but not totally crazy. It was this green. The Jade had the most compression in the shorts out of all of them. Now, granted, not enough for me to size up or down completely in any of them, but I'm gonna go ahead and say this across the board when it comes to Amplify, if you're in between. I always suggest sizing up only because even though the legging is so stretchy and lightweight, it's the waistband that can prove to be super compressive. Now the legs cinching, it's not terrible. I've totally had worse believe it. But if I were to really be concerned about the leg cinch, I would go for a longer length, like the 6.5 inch inseam. That's actually why I go for the longer length, is just to avoid any potential cinching. These weren't terrible. But do you remember when they were coming out with like the three and a half inch inseam? Couldn't touch those. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Now, even in the 4.5 inch inseam, I did do a heavy leg swing just to test roll up, and I'm not experiencing any heavy roll up in these. In terms of legging waistband compression, it's very similar to the shorts. The least compression in the waistband for me would be the Mystic Blue and the Magenta. The more moderate, that's gonna be the Sapphire and the Sangria. The highest compression that I personally felt was the Jade. Now, this goes for leggings and shorts, but overall the shorts feel more compressive than the leggings. I will throw in some pictures comparing different colors, previous amplified colors that have dropped, so I'll throw in some screenshots comparing each of these colors to ones that you might already have. I do wanna share with you real quick the difference between the logos from the leggings and shorts 
to the Revival bra. They are slightly different. You see that? So they both have a sewn in logo. I can't help but notice that on the bras, is it me or do they look bolder? Did they get a little bit bolder? Not a big deal, but something I thought was worth bringing up. So the choice between the Revival bra and the Stratus crop tank, I go for the less coverage <laughs> every single time. The support is low, which is good for me. There's no adjustments, but you do have removable bra pads. I love the strappy back. I think it's very pretty. I decided to go with this bra over the crop tank because I just felt like I would use these more. Now, while I do appreciate it not cutting into my arms, I feel like there could be a little more material to protect my side boob. But when it comes to the front of the bra, there's a lot of coverage. So what I would like to see, huh, this is just me, is take a little bit of this material here, take it away, put it just on the sides. Maybe it'll be a little more flattering. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Comment down below, what are you looking to snag? Any of these colors in particular that really just speak to you? I know on my Instagram reel, a lot of you are feeling the green and the blue those two in particular. And also let me know if you're looking to try the new King collection. If I didn't touch base on anything in particular that you were curious about, comment down below, especially with the King. I know I breezed through this collection. There wasn't a whole lot to say, but because it's new, you guys might have some questions that weren't touched upon, which is all good. Comment down below. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you guys and I will catch you in my next video.